We're now going to look at the next component of aggregate demand, which is investment spending. So we've decomposed consumption into its two parts, the autonomous component and the induced component. We're now going to add investment. For simplicity, we're going to assume that we've got a very simple model economy. There's no government and it's closed, there's no trade. So it's a simple Keynesian model and later on we will relax this assumption and we'll reintroduce those those terms. But for now, we'll just assume that we've got consumption and we've got investment, which is also autonomous or independent of the level of, invest of, of income in the economy. So if we lump together the two autonomous components, we can call that A bar. So these two together gives us all the autonomous um, spending for the economy that doesn't depend on income. Plus, we've still got little c, y. That part that does depend on income. So we've now got an expression for our aggregate demand curve. And we can see that we've taken our consumption function and we simply added autonomous investment and the whole thing shifts up by the amount of autonomous investment. And this is our new intercept, a bar. The slope is the same as that for the consumption function. It's given by little c. So it's upward sloping. Equilibrium will be given by the point where your aggregate demand curve just intersects the 45 degree line. The 45 degree line is like a reference point. So here we've got aggregate demand is equal to income or output. Remember that we use these two terms, um, income and output, to mean the same thing. So if a certain amount of output is generated, say a million rands worth of output, it will lead to a million rands worth of income that's earned by the factors of production. So in equilibrium, aggregate demand is equal to income or output. So we have this point. You might ask, well, how do we get to equilibrium? What, for instance, if we were at a point like this, to the left of equilibrium here? There's equilibrium. What happens if we were over here? Your aggregate demand is going to be above your income or output for the economy. So aggregate demand is going to be greater than your output. So your unplanned inventories are going to start to be run down. They're going to be depleted. So it signals to producers, your stocks, your inventories are, are running down. So you need to increase output. So we move towards equilibrium. What happens if we had a point to the right somewhere? like this, where income or output exceeds aggregate demand. Your output is greater than your aggregate demand. Your unplanned inventories are going to start to rise. Stocks start to accumulate and it signals to producers that they're making too much. So they need to decrease production until you get back to equilibrium.